What's up smart friends and welcome to another episode. In this episode we're going to be answering a question oddly enough that I have mixed feelings about and that is whether it's okay to buy a refurbished mobile device. Let's get started. Now one of the main reasons I say I have mixed feelings about this is because I really do think that refurbished or open box items are a really good deal from time to time. Some of the best technologies that I've ever purchased that were really expensive were probably open box items. The first Mac computer that I got was an open box item. We purchased a iPad that was basically an order and return open box item. And I never really had too much of an issue or problem purchasing open box items. But I have this really weird thing about buying open box mobile phones. I just don't think you should and I don't think you really need to and one of the main reasons is it's just a flooded market there are so much mobile devices out there every six months a new mobile device is released on the market so it's weirdly in my head that for some strange reason my brain can't process that you would go out and purchase a pre-owned mobile device for three four hundred bucks or you can get a really great mobile phone for the same price that's brand new out of the box and doesn't have any issues or concerns not saying that open box items are issues or concerns it's just oddly enough that there's so much flooded mobile devices on the market that i don't see a point in purchasing one that's already been pre-owned i can definitely see the other side of the conversation where somebody wants a device that's normally out of their pricing point so it's the new iphone that just came out and it's x amount of dollars a couple of thousand dollars but because it's an open item they've knocked off two to three hundred dollars so it drops it down and those are just roundabout numbers i'm sure there's not someone out there that's knocking off two or three hundred dollars for a perfectly good iphone but and i can see someone that is normally priced out of purchasing that phone having the ability to buy it because it's an open box item but again it's just my brain can't comprehend the fact that there are some really great mobile devices out there that you can probably find at that same price point that aren't the newest iphones or aren't the newest android phones but still offer you the same great specs and the same great technology within that phone itself or even just purchasing last year's model brand new and last year would probably Probably give you the same or close to the same exact specifications of this year's model but just with last year's chipsets and for the most part an average consumer not going to need anything more than one or two generations back probably going to do them just fine and they'll be able to get a great discount on some of these devices so again even though i really am a proponent of purchasing open box items i just don't see it with mobile phones now that being said if you are someone that is looking to purchase an open box anything for the most part it really just matters where you purchase that open box item from. Amazon actually has a renewed program that they use to sell refurbished or open box items. Or you can go to Best Buy. Best Buy usually has a ton of different open box items on their site or in store that you can pick up. Micro Center is another really great place to pick up open box items. I do think that if you're in the market to purchase an open box, anything where you purchase it matters the most. I don't like purchasing open box items from like mom and pop joe schmo store on the block mainly because of reputation and it is just the weirdest thing in the world if you purchase it from like a big corporation they have kind of a lot to lose because they don't want the bad publicity they have different checks and balances that are in place for unhappy customers return policies and one of the cool things about buying an open box item with a bigger company is that there's usually some type of return policy attached to it whether it be 30 days or 90 days or whatever it is you do have the option to if you get home you turn this thing on and just doesn't work it craps out or it's scratched more than you thought it would be or it's just not what you expected it to be you do have the ability to return it where if you purchase it from joe down the block he really doesn't give a crap whether you like his store or not he's already got your money and he may just not want to return the item you kind of know what you bought so my advice to you is if you're looking for a mobile phone open box let's say look again look for a older one that is probably one or two generations back that's brand new and you probably get a really good discount on that and or look for something that's new in a lower price range just focus in on the specifications that you're going to be using that tailor make to your usability and your overall use case you may not need the newest phone that's out that costs a thousand dollars 500 bucks could probably suit you just well but if you are going to take that plunge and purchase an open box item be careful where you buy it from uh, make sure you're buying it from a reputable source that way you're somewhat still covered and you're not stuck with a lemon anyway guys if you're watching us on youtube 
let us know in the comment down below if I'm just completely out of my mind on whether you really shouldn't be buying open box mobile phones in this day and age. I, I could be wrong. I'm sure you guys will let me know that I'm wrong. But if you are watching us on YouTube, go ahead and comment in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel on whatever platform you're listening to us on. We definitely appreciate your listen. Thank you so much for checking out this episode. And until I see you guys next time, stay safe and peace out.